Hello. So what we are going to be doing today is unboxing this mysterious surprise gift. Excuse me, what are you doing? You're not allowed to look at that yet. I actually partnered with Elmer's for a video I did a few videos ago, and that was a super fun video. So when Elmer's asked me, hey, Andrea, do you wanna do another video collab with us? I was like, heck yes, let's do it. Send me whatever you've got, and I would love to take another what if challenge. And that's how we ended up here. Hi, my name's Andrea, and my life is a little crazy. Like this video if you got that reference. Oh, that's so cute. It looks like I'm wearing the box. Welcome to the unboxing corner. Me and my box are happy to have you here. So right off the bat, it says two peachy babies, just a few of my favorite things to make slime happy holidays from Nick Yuhas. And you guys should definitely check out Nick's channel. He does a lot of really cool science videos and satisfying videos, so check him out. And if you do go check out his videos, comment that Andrea sent you on some of them. I'm really curious to see how many of you actually will. You guys should definitely check out the other Elmer's What If challenges or follow the hashtag Elmer's What If if you guys want to see who got my special slime box. And then over here it says, what if you got the gift of slime this holiday? So first we got this super awesome lab coat, which makes me look like an actual real scientist. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with it. Then we got some glue and some more glue and some more glue and some more glue. I don't really know what I was expecting because Elmer's always come through with the glue, but uh, I felt like I had to show it to you then we got some science glasses that make us look like a scientist if I looked at myself I would think wow what's her job it's probably a scientist so I think this is the look that we're going for here then we got a lot of beakers and test tubes and um, what the heck is this do you guys see this? what is this I'm not smart enough for oh it's just shaving cream Shaving cream! <laughs> so then we got some more syringes and sciencey things, some food dyes, which I'm really excited to play with, some magical liquid, which I'm really excited to activate all our fluffy slimes with. And um, now that we've unboxed our mystery box, let's uh, start making stuff. So for the first experiment, I really, really wanted to try out these magnets in some slime because I've seen a lot of videos where they play with the magnets, but I don't think I've ever seen one put in slime. So I want to make it and I think it's going to turn out like those really cool magnetic putties where you can put the magnet over it and it'll make the slime move. So we're going to find out right now. So I wanted to put mine in water slime just because I felt like it was a little bit less dense and probably a bit easier for the magnets to come through. And the most interesting thing happened when I put the magnet to the slime, you guys. A really interesting reaction started happening. I noticed that the second that the slime was sucked up to the magnet, it would spit out white slime and it would actually pull the iron fillings out of the slime. So it was like filtering it. It was such an interesting reaction and it was actually really satisfying to watch. But since it's a science experiment and you can't just test it once, I really wanted to test what happened to the iron fillings when I put them just in straight glue. I thought maybe since it was a little bit less dense, we would get a better reaction. And I was right. This looked so cool and it was really, really satisfying pulling all of the iron fillings straight out of the glue. Next, I wanted to utilize all of the rainbow glues that Elmer's has been sending me. P.S. Thank you, Elmer's. You are actually the best. But I wanted to showcase some of my favorite rainbow glues here, and I wanted to use those color-changing glues and some of the more funky, interesting ones. I thought it would be cool to see what happens when I syringe all of the glues out of the bottle and then put them on shaving cream. I think this is probably the most fun part of the video to film, and definitely one of the most oddly satisfying moments in this video. Let me know if you um, found this is as satisfying as I did because I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I've never added the shaving foam in first when I'm making slime, and since we're supposed to be doing slime experiments, I thought we could test this method out. I added all the shaving foam into the bowl, and now we're gonna add our rainbow glue syringes. 
Of course, activating everything with a bit of magical liquid. Seriously, you guys, I really, really recommend this for fluffy slimes. I was talking about this in the beginning of the video, but honestly, it's the only way that I can get fluffy slimes that I don't overactivate that aren't like hard and rubbery. So, um, pro slime tip for you guys. Once this was mixed up, it was super fluffy and it turned out to be like a really pretty purple periwinkle color, which I'm happy about. Next up, I really wanted to do something with these cute little test tube things. I also saw that the box included some really cool food dyes, and I know that when you add dye to water, it has some pretty cool reactions, and it's really, really fun to watch, and I just wanted to do it. So we're gonna do that for our next slime experiment. The end result on these were so pretty and definitely satisfying to watch. Personally, I really love the blue and the pink ones like the best because I love watching the mixing colors. Uh, do you have a favorite? Let me know. Am I trying to ask as many questions as possible because I want to talk to you guys in the comments? Let me know. <laughs> I had these mini plastic palette things laying around. I got them on sale at Michael's because Michael's is the best place ever, in case you were wondering. So I thought they would be a really fun way to add all of our different colored waters into one palette, and then we can add it to our slime. One thing that I thought was really interesting is when I added the yellow dye in, it made these like cool circular patterns into the water. I'm not sure why it was only that color, but I wanted to point it out because it made it look super pretty. Then I added some fake snow to the top so that we can get some colored instant snow to put into the slime. I was planning on making icy slime so we're gonna need a ton of snow which is why I made this palette twice and since I liked watching it I wanted to include it for you guys too then for our glue I got two clear glue bottles out of the box and I added a pink one mostly because I thought it would make a great Instagram post but also I was really hoping this would turn into a nice purple color so it could match our other purple colored slimes. It was a little bit more blue than I'd hoped, but honestly, you can't make every slime purple, you feel? The end result was a little bit more grayish bluish than I wanted, but it was super sizzly and it was really, really creamy and just fun to play with. So I'm gonna let it pass. We're gonna give it a pass even though she's a little ugly. It's what's on the inside that counts to you guys. And that is the conclusion of our last experiment here, you guys. And that is the end of this video. So I was gonna have like a proper outro, but I realized these bloopers of me pretending to talk on the phone were probably way more interesting than any outro that I could have put. So um, enjoy that. If you guys liked the video, definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below your favorite emoji. I'm gonna be in the comments for the first hour that this video goes live and you should definitely be there to join me. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will have a new one up next week. I love you very much. Bye. The number you have dialed has been changed. Okay, we'll just take it. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, God. <laughs>